Great, we have progressed quite a bit. We have a Python script that generates a Flask app, and we have two functions, and each of them maps two HTML pages to two different URLs. And this is our website with two web pages. In this lecture, we will add some CSS styling to this website so that this looks just like any other modern website and it is visually appealing and it doesn't look like in the 80s. All right. To do that, we have to do basically two things. The first thing is we need to create a CSS file and write the CSS code inside it. And the second thing is once we write this CSS code, once we have the CSS file, we need to link to it from our uh, layout.html file. CSS is as easy as HTML, so if you don't know it, I would suggest you look at some tutorials, and I'm sure you'll get used to CSS very quickly. And I already have a CSS file that will stylize my website. I'll cut this and put it in a folder which I'll call static. Inside here, I'll create another folder and call it CSS, and I'll paste the CSS file just inside here. So let me close this. As you see, uh, the folder I created and the file has been reflected in the tree view here inside Atom. So the idea is that Python looks for static files in the static folder. So here inside static folder you can put different files. For example, if you want to add an image to your website, you'd create a folder here called images and then put images in, inside that folder. And then you can link those static files from your layout uh, HTML page or from any other pages. Now, before opening the CSS file and going quickly through it, I would like to show you how you can link to the CSS file. Now, remember the visible part of an HTML code goes inside the body tags while links, like links to JavaScript files or links to CSS files, go outside of it. And those should be put inside head tags. So head here, and head there, and then we have a link tag. And the rail there means the relationship. So the relationship to the, to the file we are linking to is a style sheet. So uh, we are sort of declaring the type of the file we are linking to. So it's a CSS style sheet. And then we have the reference here, which will be equal to the URL for function, which takes as argument the folder name where the file is located and a file name parameter, which is equal to CSS main.css So what we got here is we declare the type of the file we're linking to and then we put the link of the file and it should be in quotes so all of this and I'd also like to add a title for the website let's say flask app that's it I'll save this and I'll go and try out the website. Whoa! Can you see the difference? Yep. We have the menu here, very nicely. About page, home page. And we have the title, just here. And then the content of the web page goes here. Now all these bars here, the background color, the paddings, all these have been defined using CSS. So let's go ahead and have a look at the CSS code. Here it is. I believe this is quite self-explanatory. But anyway, uh, what we have is... Basically, this is an HTML element. So the body is here. And once we write the HTML element in the CSS uh, script, we use curly brackets, and then inside the curly brackets we define these attributes. So the margin, the painting, and the font family for the text, and the color of the text. If you want to change this, let's say 999, save and go to the web page, reload, you'll see that the text got some different color. So this is quite grayed out. So that means uh, this attribute here is 
affecting the body of the website. I'll put this back to 444. Then you have the header element, which is responsible for this header here, so at the top. Then if you want to stylize a specific part of your web page, let's say only the logo, which is this one here, uh, you'd have to refer to the header first and then to the age on element and then you refer to the logo class. So this is a class name just here and so on and so forth. You can look at this code at your own pace, I believe. So the logic is the same. Great. And now we are ready to deploy this website online on the cloud. So we will do that in the next lectures. See you there.